Glass bubbles can be used to lightweight structural composites. A structural composite example might be high loading of glass fiber and nylon. A 33% loading of glass fiber and nylon is often used in under the hood and other types of structural applications. We would typically recommend reducing the glass fiber content to allow for the addition of glass bubbles. Because of their low density, they take up a lot of volume in the composite. And with a lot of inorganic content, such as 33 weight percent of glass fiber to start with, you would want to remove some of that material to make room for the glass bubble addition. Glass fiber has a high aspect ratio, so it is reinforcing to the composite. It provides higher strength. Oftentimes people hear glass bubbles, glass fiber, and think they can substitute glass for glass. The glass bubbles have an aspect ratio of one, so they are not reinforcing. You would not want to re replace all of the glass fiber with glass bubbles. But you can reduce the glass fiber content by 10, 15, 20 percent and replace that with glass bubbles to provide a low density composite that also is reinforcing. So here on this series of graphs, I'm showing impact strength, flex modulus, heat deflection temperature, and elongation to break of a nylon glass fiber filled system, 33 percent glass fiber in this nylon resin system. And we've added glass bubbles at higher and higher weight, weight percent loading, as you can see on the x-axis. And we've looked at the trend of the physical property as we add glass bubbles to this composite. And as you can see in, in all of these cases, the impact, the flex, distortion te temperature, and the elongation at break, that the property does not change with the higher and higher level of glass bubble volume in these composites. So you can get light weighting, and you can maintain the physical properties of this composite for structural under the hood and other types of applications.